November 26th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Revelation, Chapter 15 of the New Testament. Then I saw another great and astounding sign in heaven, seven angels who have seven final plagues. They are final because in them God's anger is completed. Then I saw something like a sea of glass mixed with fire, and those who had conquered the beast in his image and the number of his name. They were standing by the sea of glass, holding harps given to them by God. They sang the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. Great and astounding are your deeds. Lord God, the all-powerful, just and true are your ways. King over the nations. Who will not fear you, O Lord, and glorify your name because you alone are holy? All nations will come and worship before you, for your righteous acts have been revealed. After these things I looked, and the temple, the tent of the testimony, was opened in heaven. And the seven angels who had the seven plagues came out of the temple, dressed in clean, bright linen, wearing wide golden belts around their chest. Then one of the four living creatures gave the seven angels seven golden bowls, filled with the wrath of God, who lives forever and ever and the temple was filled with smoke from god's glory and from his power thus no one could enter the temple until the seven plagues from the seven angels were completed god i always imagine this part of revelation chapter 15 with great big huge music <laughs> because you're about to destroy the enemy and it's going to be bad and it's going to be really good and there's a huge celebration uh, by all the angels in heaven uh, just surrounding you and singing how amazing and powerful and and sovereign you are um, and you're about to send seven of them out with with wrath with uh, situations unlike anything that earth has ever seen we know that this comes at the end of the Great Tribulation, um, and this is where the Battle of Armageddon is. And we also know this is just prior to when uh, Jesus Christ comes back uh, to establish his kingdom. But it's absolutely amazing to think that this particular passage, this chapter, actually marks the end of history. It's just like crazy to think about that. Um, because everything is so severe, what is about to come, and we'll read about those tomorrow, uh, what's in these bowls. Um, it's so severe that it truly ends history that we, as we know it. And I think, again, Revelation isn't my favorite section of the Bible, in the sense that I think too many Christians argue over end of times, and are we in, an, in end of times right now? I think we always need to be wary and intentionally understanding that end of times can happen anytime you want it to. Uh, it can happen this afternoon, it can happen tomorrow. Um, we don't truly know when. I mean, we can watch for signs, uh, but it's really easy, I personally think, to get them wrong, to attach them to things that aren't what you meant for them to be attached to. And I have a feeling, I don't base this on anything, uh, but I have a feeling that what we think of as end of times is unlike anything that we could probably even imagine. I, I just go back to Deuteronomy. Your ways are higher than our ways. And, and having that fight that is going on unseen all the time around us, have it become visible at the end of times. I think we're going to see a lot of things that we, <laughs> we don't understand that are overwhelming, that are more harsh and painful and sad and devastating than we have ever seen before. I think those are some of the things that we do need to keep in mind. That you reign sovereign over everything. That you are in control of everything right now. Including the fact that Satan doesn't get to do anything uh, without you're okay. We also need to be made aware of the fact that if it were to be the end of times this afternoon, how would we feel? Not about ourselves, but about 
people around us that if we truly love people, not just the people who are lovable, but if we truly love people with this love that you've put inside of us, not with our own heart, but with the new heart you gave us, wouldn't we want to see all of those people in heaven if we truly love them? If we love them like you love us? And I, <laughs> I would say if you come back this afternoon, there's going to be very few people in heaven compared to what hell is going to look like. And for me personally, that breaks my heart that that many people don't have a relationship with you, don't know what grace and mercy are, and more importantly, don't know what forgiveness and true love really is. It's hard to watch people seek the world, especially since I, I did that for such an incredibly long time big huge part of my life and I wasted all of that time I know you've made a lot of that stuff good for what you needed it to be but honestly I wasted a lot of my life and now you've given me this incredible second chance this incredible opportunity to have this relationship with you and with this love that you've put inside my heart even the people who aren't lovable <laughs> I still want what is best for them even on those really incredibly hard days when they're being horrible people, <laughs> I, that's what I still want for them. God, instill in our hearts a sense of urgency. A sense of urgency that comes from not reading signs, but a sense of urgency that comes from the unknown and the belief in the power of the God that we serve, the sovereign God that we serve knowing at any given time his full power his full control will take over god instill that sense of urgency in our hearts to understand what you have called us here to do number one to glorify you number two to love other people number three to tell other people about you because of that love god i thank you for allowing us to see what we do get to see in Revelation there is a lot of information in there about what will happen at the end of time and end of times end I, th I thank you also for including kind of the last page of the book that you win not that there was ever any doubt but it is sure a reassuring piece of that puzzle I pray all this in your son's name Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior Amen